Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Backstrom and today we're going to look at a problem which includes both the product rule and the chain rule. So let's kind of decide how we're going to uh, attack this, uh, break it up, and uh, you know, there's going to be quite a few steps here. So the first thing is uh, I want to encompass this entire equation as either the product of two terms, the quotient of two terms, a composite function of two terms. Um, and in this case, it looks like I can call e to the 8x as a term and 8x plus 9 raised to the 7th as a term as well. Again, that encompasses the entire function. And I can start off using the product rule. So let's write that off to the side. So that's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Uh, now in this case, uh, I think it would be easier to go ahead and identify uh, what all of these are. And I'll do this off to the left here. So the first equation is just e to the 8x. 8x. Uh, the second equation is going to be equal to 8 x plus 9 raised to the seventh power. And now the derivative of the first function here, uh, this is a chain rule. So we're going to uh, do this. It's going to be the derivative of e to the u, and where u is equal to 8x. So the derivative of e to something times the derivative of that something. So this is going to be e to whatever function is in the exponent there. So that's just e to the 8x, right? And then the chain rule says we also have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is the exponent. So this is the derivative of the outside function. And the derivative of the inside function is just 8. So I can write that as just 8 e to the 8x. Now the second function here, this is also a composite function, just like the first function. That means there's one function inside, nested inside another function. In this case, the 8x was nested inside the e to the u there. So here we have something we can call this 8x plus 9u raised to the seventh power. So the uh, derivative using the power rule for this, so let's do this second prime is going to be equal to we're going to keep the inside function the same and just apply the power rule so we're going to pull the 7 out front and then we're going to times that by the inside function where again we don't change anything we're going to reduce the uh, exponent here by 1 so that's the 6th and then we're going to multiply this by the derivative of the inside function and the derivative of 8x plus 9 is just 8. So this can be written as, I can pull the 8 out front, so this is 7 times 8, which is 56, times 8x plus 9 raised to the 6th power. All right, let's go ahead and put all this stuff together. So we're going to use this formula with all this good stuff we found. So this is going to be the first, which is just e to the 8x times the derivative of the second, which is times 56 8x plus 9, 8x plus 9 raised to the 6th power plus the second, which is just this 8x plus 9 to the seventh power times, oh, this should be the derivative of the first. I think I said that for it to put the little derivative sign. Times the derivative of the first, which is this eight. So times eight e to the eight x. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead. It looks like I have an, uh, an e to the eight x I can pull out. And also, I can pull out an 8 
from both of those terms because we have two terms here. We have this term and we are adding that to this term. So if I factor out an 8 and an e to the 8x, in this first one I'm left with 56 divided by 8 is 7. So this is 7 times 8x plus 9 raised to the sixth power. All right, and then plus, and we're taking out this whole 8e to the 8x. So we're just left with 8x plus 9 raised to the seventh power. And uh, this is probably where I would leave it at. Uh, we can't really combine uh, these two uh, things because they have different exponents. Um, but leaving it in this form up here would be fine as well if you were doing this on a test. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And have a great day.